We have an update as well on the OnePlus front in relationship to the upcoming OnePlus 8 120 hertz fluid display. People love the smooth displays, Kirk. You know this. You're aware mm -hmm. of this. You're around here. Mm -hmm. the, you're, you're, you're over there listening to the ranting and the raving. Lucky you. And so OnePlus is taking a big stance on it. They've got this display from Samsung and Pete Lau. What is he? The president, CEO, CEO, founder and CEO of OnePlus. What a guy. He has a little demonstration, in fact, on his Twitter account. Actually, if you click off this tweet and just scroll down a little bit, you'll see a, is it a GIF? No, it's a video clip, in fact. And actually, if you go, go to the one below that one, Kirk. This thing's not playing. Go that one there. Yeah, that one. You don't have to play it. It's fine. Or maybe do a refresh. Oh, Willie Doo's really upset right now. Oh, he's screaming. He's right watching now. what's going on here and the, the no loading of the media. And he's not even enjoying his trip anymore. He's... He's calling it a day, and he's heading back. <laughs> he's coming right off the top of the mountain at the moment as your media refuses to load, <laughs> and you switch browsers. He's going to snowboard all the way back Yeah, here. he's snowboarding straight back here. There you go. Now it's playing. So play the one there with the two phones next to each other. There's a 60 hertz and a 120 hertz, and it's essentially it's a demonstration of the difference in the flow. This is like we were talking about with the 60 frames. Of course, double that, 120 hertz compared to 60 hertz. And you really start to pick up the difference on the slower scrolling where your eyeballs can see the jitteriness. Now, this is it's very difficult to express this difference to people. Honestly, the best way is to get it in your hand. And of course, I have a lot of experience with 90 hertz specifically myself. I've spent less time with 120 hertz, and I think that's a big jump to go to 90 at first. And then obviously 120 is a little bit more. How much you can discern within that difference, who knows? But... It's in the slower scroll when you kind of slow your thumb down and you see that jogging, the jogging of the, of the feed. And again, how big of a deal is this? Does this matter to you? Is this the next killer feature? It really depends on the individual. But I will say, once you get to these higher refresh devices, you get used to it and you go to the back to the 60 hertz and you die a little bit inside. Mm-hmm. So it's important to note. Now, the next update beyond... Uh, first of all, I should say, shout out to Pete Lau for putting this stuff on Twitter and getting out in front of it and saying, okay, I'm going to be the guy sharing these features in advance. And I just think it's a smart move because, of course, we are talking a lot about the upcoming S11 or S20 event. And you know, give us as much information as you can at the moment. It's, it's not like it used to be where you can keep everything to yourself right to the event, Steve Jobs style. It's just the marketplace is moving so fast now. It's helpful to know what they're working on and what can I expect from their upcoming device if I want to consider it as my next one. So anyway, if you go to the next post there, which was just above the 60 versus 120, that's the one there with the skateboard. It's two clips with a, a skateboard kickflip. That's a kickflip, in fact. Oh, we're getting uh, we're getting a, a, a update. Uh, an update. update here. Quick update from oh, Jack. He says again. it's let not a kickflip; it's a nolly. It's a nolly. Oh yeah, you're right. Flip. You're, it's you're a right. Nolly it's a nolly kickflip. Oh, anyway, it's a beautiful looking uh, skateboard trick here, and the main and important piece is they're showcasing this technology called MEMC, 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 and. This is something you've probably seen in a high-end television. We talked about this on a previous episode, but this is a great demonstration of how it operates. And essentially what you end up with through this technology is the ability to play back non-60-frame content, 30-frame content, and have it look more like 60-frame content on a 120 hertz. Is it display. adding frames or is it frame blending? Or It's something like that. I remember this. Uh, I remember this when it first showed up on TVs, and some people hated it. Mm -hmm. They said everything looks like a soap opera. What'd you do to What did you do to my Christopher Nolan films? <laughs> and people would have to go turn it off. So it's got to be some version of that, some kind of. They used to call it smooth, hyper smooth. I remember that, yeah. Uh, but it's weird that now in 2020, I watch this clip, Kirk, and I don't care about soap operas. I want the smoother clip. Yeah, I, yeah, me too. When I saw it initially, I was like, The wow. old me, I would have been all cinema. Yeah. 
I you, agree. If you caught me five years ago, I'd say, no, no, no. I want cinema. But now, maybe it's the consumption method, the fact that we're on these smartphones, uh, the, the type of content we're watching, how it's changed. But I'll take the smoother version. So OnePlus is claiming that they're going to have this very fluid video experience, even if you're not accessing high frame rate content so that you can take advantage of this refresh rate on this display, the fluid display, for the, given the wide variety of content available. It will it kind of like upscaling in a way, but instead for smoothness. So that demo looks really good. I don't know if that's exactly how the enhancement will show up for you, if it will be that evident, because you're OnePlus at the end of the day. You're going to make it look as good as possible, but I'm glad that it's in there.